Welcome to the fourth week of the business management class. Since you already know how to navigate the course, I will review the assignment summary and then we'll jump right into Columbus. Obviously, you will be reviewing this video. For the module review, read chapter four and review the PowerPoint presentation for chapter four. Your assignments for this week will be the course participation collaboration, the chapter four smart book, the case study, which is Twitter Inc., the Globus Simulation Module 4 report, and the Globus Simulation decisions for year eight. And lastly, you will complete the chapter four quiz. The only comment I have about the assignments would be mainly the Module 4 reports. Continue to, to enhance them. You know, I, I've been, you know, very generous with grading so far, but I am going to be expecting more of a report style with a cover page, some good data within the report. Uh, it should look professional, not only the cover page, but the body of the report. You should have tables, graphs, pictures, you know, whatever's going to enhance your report and the findings within your report. So now let's go ahead and jump into Globus. Here we have the results for year seven. As you can see, you can't fake your way through this simulation. Okay, so Team C, they had a big lead initially, um, no longer. Okay, so Team B gained 17 points with a weighted average score of 105 for year seven. Team A dropped 11, and they're at 84, which, hey, that, that's fine. I have no problem with that. You're, you're in the 80s. You're still trying to figure it out. Uh, Team D, who was in dead last, they gained 37 points. Okay, so they're at 79. So basically, they're right there with now Team A for second place. But Team C, here's the big concern. When, when you start off huge... And then all of a sudden, you drop 39 points. That indicates you didn't know what you're doing. It, it was a fluke. You got lucky to, to start off so strong. So I, I would be the most concerned with Team C because everyone else is within reason, You know, especially B with a 105. That's great. Um, and even though A dropped 11 points, um, you could drop a little bit based on your decisions. But those decisions still can be correct because you're going for long-term decisions and, and sometimes it drops you a little bit. So uh, I'm not really concerned with A dropping 11 points. It's C is the one I'm concerned with. Okay, so th there's really no reason to drop that many points in, in one year with, with the big lead that you had. So um, Team C, you know, really get together, make sure you're understanding the simulation. You should be relying on one another in the different areas. If you're confused or if you have questions, that's the whole purpose of having a team. So keep that in mind. You know, I, everyone should be relying on one another within their individual teams. But I really just want to point out, you know, great job, Team D. You know, you making up 37 points. That that's fantastic. So you can see the game to date scoreboard where company B is in the lead. So this is overall counting all the years with 103. So the year seven scoreboard, they had 105 for the game to date is 103. Team A is at 90. Team C is at 79. Team D is at 74. So Team C is at 79 for the game to date. So that makes them look better than what the year seven scoreboard looks like. But I still would have concerns because they dropped so much. Now, if I only viewed the game to date scoreboard, I would say, okay, Team C, you're fine. You're still beating Team D. But I would not be surprised if Team D uh, doesn't continue on uh, making ground, making ground up, I should say, within the simulation. So Team C, don't get too comfortable thinking like, well, um, we are still ahead of Team D, so we're not that bad. Because uh, I think they are going to make, be making moves here in the next few years. So um, with, with Team B and A, I mean, you're pretty much right next to each other. You know, 13 points is not that big of a deal. Uh, so Team C, you know, you're only 11 points away from Team A, and Team D, you're only five points away from Team C. So this could become a, a close competition throughout the entire semester, but may not because if Team B, who gained 17 points in year seven, if they continue widen that gap, then it's going to get tough because that that means they know what they're doing. Okay, that's that means it, it's not luck. You know, they're, they're onto something. Okay, so, you know, you don't want that to happen. Okay, so make sure you're analyzing not only what Team B is doing, but what all the other teams are doing. You have access to that. I pointed it out uh, last week within that video of how to look at the different reports that you, sh you should be viewing. Um, I'm not saying to mimic other teams, but to consider um, what they're doing and, and how may, may you 
might want to you know, adjust your approach. Well, that's all I had for this week. As always, feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions or concerns. Take care, everyone.